A mysterious object, nicknamed Ammonite, has been discovered at the edge of our solar system, and it's defying expectations. Its unusual orbit raises critical questions about the hidden ninth planet theory. This isn't about spectacle, it's about precision and data. Watch this video to learn more about Ammonite's surprising path, and what it could mean for our understanding of the solar system. In 2023, astronomers using the Subaru telescope in Hawaii spotted something unusual, a faint, slow-moving object drifting against the backdrop of distant stars. It wasn't just another icy fragment beyond Neptune. This one had a story buried in its path. Part of the fossil survey, a project aimed at mapping the solar system's most remote icy bodies, the object was officially designated 2023 KQ-14. Initial data hinted at an extraordinary orbit. Follow-up observations by the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope in 2024 confirmed it wasn't a typical trans-Neptunian object. Researchers dug into archival images going back nearly two decades, and there it was, quietly tracing its arc through space since at least 2005. It travels in an elongated loop around the sun, swinging in from about 66 astronomical units, AU, and drifting as far out as 438 AU, well beyond Pluto. One full orbit takes nearly 4,000 years. This trajectory places it in an exceptionally rare category of objects, known as sednoids. These are distant, detached bodies that don't come close enough to be influenced by Neptune's gravity. Before Ammonite, only three were known. Sedna, 2012 VP113, and 2015 TG387. Yet it doesn't just expand that list, it complicates it. What truly caught scientists' attention wasn't its distance, but its unexpected orbital angle. Unlike the others, its path points in a different direction, hinting at a gravitational history that doesn't match the rest. The discovery of Ammonite reopens a debate that has captured the attention of planetary scientists for nearly a decade, the Planet Nine Hypothesis. The theory proposes that a large yet undetected planet, somewhere between five and 10 Earth masses, is lurking in the outer solar system. Its presence has been used to explain why several distant objects appear to be gravitationally aligned. That is, their orbits are clustered in a way that doesn't seem random. This idea gained traction in 2016, when astronomers noticed that six or more extreme trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, including sednoids, shared similar orbital characteristics. The simplest explanation? Something massive was shepherding their paths. But it doesn't follow the expected pattern. Its orbit is misaligned, and in some simulations, even anti-aligned when compared to other sednoids. This means that instead of pointing in the same general direction as the others, it orbits in the opposite direction. It breaks the symmetry that helps support the idea of a common gravitational influence like Planet Nine. To investigate further, Dr. Yukun Huang and colleagues at the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan modeled the object's orbital evolution. They found that its current trajectory has remained stable for billions of years, suggesting it hasn't been disturbed recently. More importantly, the orbit never matched that of the other sednoids, not even in the distant past. So what does that imply? One possibility is that Planet Nine simply doesn't exist, and the apparent clustering of previous objects was due to observational bias or chance. Ammonite's orbit raises important questions about the early history of the solar system and the forces that shaped it. With only four known sednoids, the sample size remains small, but it adds a valuable layer of complexity. Rather than confirming existing theories, it encourages astronomers to re-examine alternatives. Several scenarios are now being revisited. A stellar flyby during the early stages of the solar system could have disturbed outer objects stretching their orbits without requiring a Planet Nine. The Sun may have captured foreign objects from nearby stars during its formation in a densely packed stellar nursery. A rogue planet, one that passed through or originated in our system, 
may have shaped these orbits before being ejected. Its orbit appears to reflect one of these ancient large-scale processes. Its detachment and long-term stability indicate that whatever shaped its motion happened very early, perhaps even during the solar system's first hundred million years. This is where upcoming surveys become critical. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, set to begin full operations with its Legacy Survey of Space and Time (LSST), will likely discover hundreds of distant objects in the next decade. With that many orbits to study, astronomers will be able to identify whether the clustering pattern holds or whether it dissolves in a larger sample. In the meantime, objects like it serve another purpose. They help define the boundaries of our solar system, not just in terms of distance, but in terms of the gravitational reach of the Sun and its planets. Astronomers are eager to uncover its secrets. Is it ice-rich like Pluto? How does it reflect sunlight? Its composition could reveal whether it formed here or was pulled from another region. Every discovery helps us understand the true nature of our solar system's evolution. Ammonite may not solve the Planet 9 mystery, but it's a game changer. Its unique orbit challenges existing models, reminding us that science is all about questioning, revising, and exploring new data. As we discover more, it could reveal hidden forces shaping our solar system.